as the field got away at the start of the race. It was Craig Dolby who was just able to get the jump on pole sitter Rob Bell as the pack charged towards the Retifilio for the first time. 24 cars charging side by side. It was always going to be very busy. As a result, there was the fairly inevitable sort out. Vito Postiglioni coming off worse with damage to the front of the Lamborghini. As you can see from Thomas Biaggi's perspective, everybody just about made it through cleanly, be it just about. When the race settled down, we were treated to a wonderful four-way scrap at the front of the pack with Craig Dolby leading the way from Marco Mapelli to Bouveng and Rob Bell. Behind there was also some great tussling to enjoy as Tom Onslow Cole was trying to carve his way up through the pack. Mapelli was eventually overhaul, able to overhaul Dolby as we approached mid-race, but by the time the pit stops and success seconds had sorted themselves out, Sean Bow, who emerged in the lead, he was quickly passed by Seb Morris. Morris then said about trying to build a bit of a buffer. Meanwhile, disappointed for Dominic Farnbacker, contact with Mauro Calamir, pitching Alexis into retirement. Despite the late challenge from Giovanni Ventrini, it was Morris and Dolby who came through to claim the victory. Ventrini, though, extends his championship lead. Second place finish alongside Marco Mapelli, with Sean Bow and Rob Bell finishing in third and claiming Pro-Am honours, with Louis Silva and Antonio Coimbra winning the Am class. But jubilation, Nigel Mustel's team and two very happy drivers.